Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'd just like to say thank you so much for all your support on my channel, for your likes, comments, subscribes and donations. It really means a lot. And welcome if you're new. So this is a collective reading from the 19th to the 25th of July 2021. Um, I'm going to use this wonderful new deck, the Lantern Oracle, that was recently gifted from my Amazon wish list by Umrum. So thank you so much again for your kind gesture. So let's get, first of all, some messages for the collective. too many cards. <laughs> okay. So we got trusting tricksters, first of all, deception maybe around some of you. Um, quite an interesting message, the trickster's only power is your trust. You are always free to withdraw it. So some of you may be very trusting of someone around you at this time and they're deceiving you there's something not quite genuine about this person and this may not resonate for all of you I am getting that this is in a love situation for some people um, it's like a karmic tie and some people haven't seen this person's true colours, but I do feel that something comes out about this person. And these cards really resonate with that. So a lot of you are going to just find this renewal in your life. It says, regeneration begins with decay. Yeah, so if you are in this sort of um, deceptive situation, it feels like everything's crumbling, but this is what enables this regeneration. Ego death. Completely refreshed energy, you know? And moving forward. So a lot of people in the collective are moving on. The first step is taken within our stillness. Yeah, so some of you really need to reflect. It's quite amazing we've got the shadow of an eagle here. Showing, see things from a higher perspective. Detach from your situation. Find that light. You are being guided on your divine path. We've got 27 to 28 showing a transition. Okay, so this seems to be quite a pertinent message for some of you, may not be for all of you. Okay, and the you know this energy could be in any situation, could be in work, in love, but I'm really getting love here. So let's get some more information. Um, first of all, on this trusting tricksters.
Wow, okay, so this is pretty clear um, that it is in love as I thought. Some of you are very committed um, to your partner, so you're in a relationship. But there's tension between you and your partner. And we've got a Queen of Wands, which always indicates another energy here. Um, male or female, doesn't matter. But yeah, there, there's something going on here that some of you are not seeing. So you may feel it, you know, if there's tension in your relationship, you may be feeling this right now. So trust how you feel. I'm also feeling boredom here for some of you in your situations. Yeah. Two fives showing a change that some of you feel you need in your situation. Some of you feel quite lonely in a relationship. You know, and I just think if that's the case, maybe it's time to look within at what's missing. So, you know, is this person giving their time to someone else and that's why you feel lonely? Or is there just no communication? Someone's definitely not being honest here. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, I'm seeing that some of you are committed, so married or in a long-term relationship. And there's someone else here, definitely. Someone's been stepping out. Because notice we've got the flower here. And the flowers here. Um, a lot of you are very loyal. Someone's very loyal in this situation. But there's going to be a tower moment moving on from this difficult time. Six of Swords, flying free. That may not be you, maybe someone on your mind that this relates to. Okay. Let's see about this renewal. Okay, wow, that flipped over. So the first card, strength card, shows that courage is needed, you know, for any sort of change, it takes courage. But, you know, be honest with yourself in terms of how you're feeling here. It's going to be quite hard for some of you. So some of you do have a family. That could be, you know, why this is... A difficult decision. A lot of you have just not seen this happening, or a lot of people, you know, there's like a blind, you know, blinded feeling. She's wearing a blindfold. Illusions, secrets.
And I feel this obviously comes to the surface for a lot of you. What I'm also getting here with this renewal is as you start to build yourself up again, you start thinking about someone on your mind. Now this is the Divine Feminine Energy. There's a Ten of Cups as well, Twin Flames here I'm feeling. So I really do feel the Divine Masculines here are the ones who could be starting again, having this rebirth and you may be feeling their energy, if you're a Divine Feminine, you may be feeling their energy now, they could be watching you, they could be dreaming about you, you could be dreaming about them. Yeah, so there's a lot of spiritual growth people are going through, opening their mind, letting out emotions, quite creative people, I feel, um, maybe writers, writing poetry, artists, philosophers. So there are things that come out during this time, this renewal, which is good. So let's see about moving forward. Yeah, so heartbreaks, breakups for some people and healing as well. Um, you know, if it's not if it's not a breakup, then it is just a renewal of self, because not all of you are going through breakups, obviously. Um, some of you could have been ill recently, so there's like this new new start, feeling better. There's certainly like. Um, a spark of inspiration for this new beginning with the Page of Wands. I'm seeing a lot of orange, you know, so creativity is really coming out here as well. And we got the Emperor, that's amazing, Divine Masculine Energy, yeah, who I really feel is coming out in this reading. Taking the lead in their life, moving forward, as we got here. This is what they do. They're the ones that take the lead. Um, they may communicate with you, Divine Feminine, with the Page of Wands. We've got here as well. A lot of reflection that they go through. You may even just feels them telepathically. Wow. That's amazing. We got the lovers. Twin flames. Um, so a decision in love certainly is potentially happening this week for people in the collective, but here I'm seeing the Divine Masculine, as I was feeling, really starting to reflect, tap into their emotions, feeling the Divine Feminine more in their energy, dreaming about you, checking you out online. Yeah, I feel they're watching you. Page of Cups, you know, wanting to reach out move forward to their one. Make an apology. Wow, okay, so this really does feel quite specific, what we're getting here. Um, 
Decisions in love, anyway. This week. So yeah, many people have been through challenges, delays, you know, things that have got in the way, these tricksters, you know, who have been like an illusion really, um, there could have been a lot of suffering, conflict with those people. Karmic situations, I really feel you know, coming to a close, starting again with the renewal, you know, the child is like this renewal, just a fresh energy, seeing things differently. Wow, look at this, the fox at the bottom of the deck, so this is really quite a strong message. For this week, I feel some things come to light in terms of deception that's been going on. Yeah, well, the moon again. Things that were hidden come to light and people need to be very strong about this. So Divine Masculines, I'm feeling in particular, might find something. They do a bit of spying. Um, and they realise that the karmic, if they're with a karmic, has been talking to someone else. That's really what, what we're getting here. So um, take what resonates there, obviously. So let's get a few whispers of love for any love messages here. So we've got have patience, here's the challenges again with the mountains we had here, a lot of you have been through on your journeys, um, there is reflection needed and time to heal after this, you know, we can't just rush into something right away. Relationship patterns, yeah. So, for a lot of people, this renewal is breaking free from these illusions, these people who we trusted. We were, we were quite vulnerable with them. Very caring towards these people. And then we realised, wow, this person doesn't have my back. And it's about finding the strength to, to change, for this renewal to happen. Looking deeply within at how you play your part in, in these situations as well. You know, if you're too giving, for example, it, says, you know, it always takes two to tango. And forgiveness happening this week. Yeah, so, you know, anyone who's experiencing this sort of deception, you know, betrayal, as you move forward, it's very important that you heal and don't hold on to that, because that will hold you back from being able to fully move forward in your divine light. Okay, it doesn't mean talking to the person or anything, but really it's forgiveness of self as well. Um, it's interesting, I was reflecting on this myself yesterday, just about things in my past 
And I realised how, yeah, I really need to forgive myself here. You know, I let that happen because I was too open and loving, but I didn't have strong boundaries in place, for example. So that might resonate for someone. Okay, let's take one more Lantern Oracle as well for any advice. So we've got quite a few. Okay, so this really links circles. It's the same message as relationship patterns. You know, breaking free from karmic situations, toxic relationships, behaviours, patterns, getting on your horse and having the strength to break free. Beautiful. Radical self-acceptance. Yeah, so accepting yourself, forgiving yourself, as I was just saying, you know, accepting that's the way I am, but I need to change, you know, just tweak something within myself. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. Yeah, so self-worth is very important here. Voice, yeah, finding your voice here. We had that expression before that some, some people might do, letting out emotions. You are here to be known, so speak and be seen. Yeah, some of you have a mission you're being guided to, to use your gifts. Some of you are very musical, very creative, spiritual, and you're being guided to, to follow that path, that divine path is really coming out. Intention, it says lacking personal direction begets confusion and life as a pawn to someone else's game of chess. Wow, there's that trickster. So, you know, mind games as well could have been happening. And because of internal confusion, just, yeah, allowing someone to, to play you, to use you. This is really linking, isn't it? This self-acceptance as well. Understanding the part you have played in this. Expressing yourself. Distorted desire. Conscious desire rarely satisfies the unconscious need driving it. Yeah, so that battle within between the conscious and unconscious, your soul. The ego taking over the soul, basically. When it should be the soul driving you forward. Coming out of this very dark period and moving into the light, that's beautiful. Let's just get the message on that one. Distorted desire. 
So it says, once we get clear on what our heart's core desire is and therefore need, we are ready to recognise it in whatever form it takes and to receive it. Make the space for your heart's true longing to come in by freeing yourself of any illusions still haunting you. Wow. So yeah, releasing the shadow aspects of self, um, distorted perceptions, accepting yourself, finding your voice. This is really quite empowering, I feel, for this week. Renewal of self. Beautiful. Okay, everyone, so I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending peace, love and light to you on your journey. And I'll see you soon.